Okay. So first of all, I'll just introduce myself. My name is Vanessa. I'm the Community Outreach Manager at Crossref, and today I'll be talking to you about our similarity check service. If you've got any questions as we go along, then please write these into the chat box and we'll be able to answer them at the end of the presentation. So what is Similarity Check? It's a service that helps editors to prevent plagiarism. To do this, our members are given access to Turnitin's powerful text comparison tool called Authenticate. So they can compare their own manuscripts against the larger, largest comparison database of full text academic content in the world. While there are several plagiarism screening tools available, using Authenticate um, as a Similarity Check member is unique as it creates a symbi symbiotic relationship between content owners and Turnitin. Similarity Check members enjoy a cost-effective use of Authenticate because they contribute their own published content into Turnitin's database. This means that as the number of Similarity Check members grow, so too does the size of the content database powering the service. More content in the database means greater peace of mind for editors who are looking to determine a manuscript's originality. So what is Authenticate? It's a software tool that's owned by the company Turnitin. You can use it in your browser or via an API. It's for a text-based screening of manuscripts. And as I said, the Turnitin content database is vast. The content, the content is indexed from over a billion web pages, over 57 million content items in the Crossref system, and over 100 million other items from other content providers as well, such as Pearson, Cengage, EBSCOhost, etc. So how the service works. So if you're a Similarity Check member, this is how it works. You upload a document to Authenticate. The Similarity Check report is produced and you're given a score. You can compare documents side by side to investigate any irregularities that have occurred. And the editor can make a decision about whether the similarity that's detected is legitimate or whether there's further investigation that's required. When, when members publish new content, they provide a link to the full text, which Turnitin then uses to index the item and add it to their database. This means the content um, in the database is constantly expanding and kept up to date. So who is using Similarity Check? Over 1,300 participating Crossref members use the service, and we see an average of over 405,000 manuscripts screened every month. Um, there's been a huge increase in usage from publishers in Japan, Brazil, South Korea, and Turkey, as well as other countries as well. And Similarity Check can be used at different stages in the submission process. Um, they can be used on submission, at a defined point in review and editorial process, which varies widely from publisher to publisher, or just prior to acceptance. We've seen Similarity Check members taking each of these approaches, with a trend moving towards screening on submission. And we're seeing this high usage because publishers are investing more and more into their plagiarism policies. This can be resources, cost, workflow, education, and follow-up action. So here's an example of a similarity report. It shows the percentage of text that's similar. You can check where that match is from and click on it for more information. However, the similarity percentage can be misleading if it's not interpreted properly. Some text may be similar, such as properly cited references or standard scientific descriptions. For example, materials and methods section used in experiment or research. So you can exclude certain sections of text or sources, or you can refine the percentage threshold depending on what your preferences are and what subject it is that you're comparing. So what are some of the issues that publishers are looking for? Poor, missing or incomplete references. This can be easily fixed. Self-plagiarism or text recycling 
Um, this is the use of one's own previous work in another context without citing that it was used previously. It's a common mistake and again it can be fixed. Other more serious things might be unattributed use of parts of another person's work without citing, submitting another person's work as your own, or attempts by the author to deliberately mislead or represent their work. So you can join Similar to Check. Before you apply to join, you must have added full text URLs into your DOI metadata. It's open to all Crossref publisher members who are in good standing and who are actively assigning article level DOIs to their content. Content must be indexed in order to be added to the Turnitin database. And indexing is done via as called URLs and these must be present in your deposit metadata. Crossref will tell Turnitin precisely what to crawl, pointing only to your DRI identified context, content. So what is an as crawled URL? Well, this is a specific crawler friendly link that's used by crawler services to index content. Turnitin needs the as crawled URL for the content associated with each DOI in order to index your content as part of the similarity check membership agreement. The as crawled URL points to the location of the full text content, either PDF or HTML, and this is associated with the DOI. Even if your as crawled URL are the same as your DOI resource URL, you still need to enter them separately as a specific as crawled URL. This then allows a service to scan the text against submitted manuscripts, but does not provide outside reader access to the content. For new content, the URL can be as included as part of the deposit met metadata, and it can be updated for any existing DOIs. So there are two fees for similarity check. There's an annual admin fee, which is equal to 20% of your Crossref membership fee. This is payable to Crossref. And then there's a fee for Turnitin. This is a much reduced rate per document as being a similarity check member. And it's paid directly to Turnitin. This decreases with book uploads as shown in the chart. So the most you would pay per document would be 75 cents. If you're interested in joining the service, you can go to our website page, um, crossref.org forward slash services forward slash similarity check. Here you'll also find more information and a short service video that's available in seven languages. We're planning to translate this and all of our help documentation in more languages as we progress. If you've got any questions, you can also email similarity check at crossref.org and we'll get back to you there. Additionally, also, you can ask some questions today. Um, and I think that is the end. So thank you very much. That was a really quick overview of the Similarity Check service. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them into the box. Hi Maria, yes, <laughs> can I explain again how to check plagiarism. So you can use the similarity check tool to upload your document and this will provide a score and it will flag similar content from the Crossref system and other content items are indexed by Turnitin and I, uh, the Authenticate tool. However, you can't take the score just on its own. You have to then look into the different items that the tool has flagged 
to decide if there has been plagiarism or not. Um, depending on what it is that you're looking for, as just said in the presentation, this could be whether people have not been citing their content properly or whether there's something more serious at work. Hi, Mary. Okay, to clarify, um, Turnitin is a separate company to Crossref, but we have an agreement for this service. So when you upload your, when you register your content with Crossref and you provide and you get a DOI, you have to provide us with the link to the full text of that article. You also, if you're um, participating in the similarity check service, need to provide a URL for the as, as called URL for the similarity check service. That's how they can index the content and use this to compare. No problem. And Martin, you would go to the website. I'll pop this in the chat box. You can send an email and you can sign up for the plagiarism similarity check and we can get you started with that. You would need to register with um, not only with Crossref but also with Turnitin. So on that page there, you can find out more information on how to participate. It has steps and a link to the online registration form and service agreement. Any other questions at all? Hi, Adilson. Uh, yes, they can use the doc to doc comparison if they want to compare directly two pieces of work.
Um, it is on the um, the database for authenticate is updated automatically as publishers register new content. Um, and the similarity check score would reflect that. Hi Martin, so it would be down to the editor and the publisher to decide whether to accept the manuscript or not. Um, as I said, there's no, there's no set bar for a percentage. Um, that's right. It very much depends on your, your procedures, your preferences, what it is that you're looking for. You have to look into the similarity check report and not just take the percentage at face value and actually look in to see if there has been um, legitimate plagiarism. It's not as simple as setting um, a target. Although you, you can set, you can refine what you think is a limit if that's what you wish to do. Um, but it's not good to take the score just on its own. No problem at all. Um, are there any other questions before we wrap up? Great. Thanks for attending, Martin. And I think it's just it's just you left. <laughs> um, so let us know if you've got any questions. And um, if not, then thanks for joining. <laughs>